What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing episode 3, I believe, of The Wolf Among Us. Wow, look at that. <laughs> look at that the picture. That seems, um... Anyway, it's called A Crooked Mile. I'm very excited. If I believe... If, if I am correct about this... Um, that old rickety dude who was yelling at Snow in the beginning is, is the killer of, uh, Holly, I think, was the barkeep's name, sister. So, let's, let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. What's, what's All happening? All stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning. Crane Ichabod. That's what it was. Ever since we moved to this awful city. Or Ichabod. so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. Oh right, she violated us like that. <laughs> she looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Totally. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god. All right, and we saw Beauty working at this motel or hotel or whatever it is. What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Yeah. It's Crane. What are we gonna do? Uh, that piece of motherfucking piece of shit. Oh, okay. Yes. Ugh, God, you think you know a person? Big, you uh, do have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? Yes. How do you know? Because we saw evidence. Shit. Crane's been. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. That perverted little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap. And I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their uh -oh. way. Uh-oh. <laughs> <That was, laughs> Big B. What do you want, beauties? Wait. You're at, you're on your shift. How about you go back to work and let me take care of this? What? Snow's Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just Please be careful when you tell her, and you should tell her, but... I know. I know. No, you don't know. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Yeah, I know. I know, beauty, okay? I'm not your child. Go deal with your husband that you have been lying to and leave me the F alone. I can deal with snow myself. Oh my god, everyone comes at Big B. Like, my guy Big B, he needs to be protected because people will be bullying him. Okay, so is this where the funeral is gonna be at? We're gonna be. We're gonna. If you are here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted. Uh, wait for over. It's an emergency. Snow. I won't um, offend mm. you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. Ugh. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. But I also know that that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, 
equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit <sighs> that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so grateful to share with me. Your memories of her. How she could be stubborn and... I don't want to interrupt, but this is an emergency. What on earth do you think you're... I know, I know, but something's happened. Not right now. No, you don't understand. I'm sorry, everyone. I don't... Get the fuck out of here. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. What did he I do? He did. I don't want trouble. No, Holly, I'm not here to start trouble. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here. What you mean? After you lie, after you promise me. What are you Holly, talking wait, about? That was Crane, just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Crane's a prick. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Thank you, Grin! He cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I know who murdered your sister. I'm gonna just throw I it out know there. Who murdered your sister? Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else. What? No, I deserve to know. Exactly. No, That's why I'm. I know, but this isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be told, it's me. How about just it say it? Right now. I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane? Crane. Yeah. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? He says that fucking Crane murdered Lily and you expect me to- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but- But why do we have to talk- first. Okay, okay, okay. Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Right. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. I... Crane. Yeah. I can't believe this. Believe it. This is someone I've worked with for decades. This is a guy... He gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mean, what are you telling me? It, it's all an act? Just, what have you found? Bigby? He killed Lily out of motel. I followed the lead to this shithole motel, the open arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least, Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. The bed was covered in blood. I know it was him. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. Yeah, so I'm You're sorry, Snow. Sure, this is what happened. I have photographic evidence. Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Uh, and Crane would be the next step. I'm gonna show you the proof. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. 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 I'll drive. Snow, Narissa, what is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? 
Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um... No, I understand. It's just that something's come up. Are you okay? You don't have to do this right now. I'll be fine. How'd it go at the motel? Did you find anything? Oh yeah, I found. No. It was Crane's it room. It was Crane's room. But you knew that already, right? Nerissa. Yeah, uh, coming. Constable. Ah. Oh, D. Oh, and Dom. In a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. Now it's not the time. Now is really not the time for whatever you Jergovs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. And I'll be honest, I'll give you I'll another conversation. Poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. What but suffering? I just smacked you with a bottle. Me. Stop being dramatic. <laughs> we'll to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few You work for Crane? Days. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No, see now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? Brother? Speak your mind, fastly now. You think this act you got going scares me? Cause it doesn't. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not- What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. What? What are you gonna do? That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. Uh-oh. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? Think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Polly, don't move. I'll handle this. Lee, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> Take care of these. So maybe I didn't handle this the way I should have. <laughs> um, okay, so, so lesson for, um, maybe the truth is not always convenient when it comes to uh, civilians okay because technically we were the law enforcers and we just gave classified information to the civilians but to be fair on my side i thought that holly should know who the heck killed her sister but because i opened my big mouth in front of everybody i think that's holly and and uh, what was his name? Gren or Grem? Gren? 
I think... They got shot. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. Take it easy. I'm fine. Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's, How's everyone, everyone else? They all make it. They're fine. Okay. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. I'll, I'll try. More I'll try to. All right then. Very good. Try being the operative word. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Big B? What can I do for you, Snow? So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. Why did he so, have to go behind that partition to put on a shirt? Happens. But I, I don't know. Just wait for the that's mirror? That's the plan? Just wait for the mirror? It's all we have right now. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if, I mean, this is going to sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed I those women? I think he killed I Lily. Arms, everything points to Crane murdering Lily. What isn't adding up for me is Faith. Why would he kill her? It doesn't seem connected. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Are you okay, Buffkin? Aww. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Yeah, I mean... Can I, um, ask you a question? Sure. It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Sure. It's just... What? When stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight... It feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. That is so rude. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Why even bring this up? I guess it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, hey guys? Ah, uh, I kind of deflected. I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Crane must yes, have taken it's, it. Uh, it's not here. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what it was until now. The mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? 
we sit around and wait until it mends itself, we have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't What's the hard way? Mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this. Oh ourselves. my gosh. I know never that it... mind that. Come help me look. We ignore the flying monkey. That's not nice. <sighs> Should I talk to Buffkin? I must talk to Buffkin. What do you think? Well, go on. What? Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow blammers from. Hmm. Ah. Uh, see anything else? You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. What, what do you mean? Not your Look, fault. Uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. yeah. How could you have known that that would have happened? I'll just see if I can do anything about this. Don't Thank worry, you. Buffkin. Do not worry. I'm gonna wait to talk to Snow. Um. Uh, can I? Oh. Yeah, Crane's desk. Let's see. Oh, it's making me go all the way around again. Um, let's check the drawer first. Ooh. Baby. <laughs> all right. Let's examine this book. He used this freaking, um... Wolf strength. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? Hey, yo, what up? That's a ring, at least. Every a magical ring? item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from it must be about this ring why not mention this before no one asked me buffkin and i'm hung over i'm sorry snow you need to chill tonight what's going on is the mirror fixed yet bluebeard this isn't the time is the mirror fixed or isn't it you called I me called to just to see if you knew where crane could be and that was it okay and i'm sorry i said anything more than that well you did and i know the cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, but... This isn't your concern. No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. Oh, and my God. none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror, so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Uh. Look. I mean, fair. Fair. To acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you are chosen to run this office. 
Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. There's much bigger things to be worrying about right now, all right? Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Why are you so dramatic, Bluebeard? Get the hell out of here. You're just here to start problems. All right. To distract us. Look on the bright side. I don't trust you. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? True. It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. Let's do both. Let's do both. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyway. So... No, chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. We can't just let Bluebeard run amok in Crane's place. Ha! He's after something. I just don't know what it is. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard. I gotcha. That's where he's going. Or oh, the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you going to go, Bigby? Ah. Uh... Uh, okay, okay, where am I gonna go?